the 18-year-old, considered one of England's most exciting prospects in recent times, could be on the move this summer. Meanwhile, a player coveted by Arsenal last summer has just been linked with a departure, alerting the Gunners to his availability this summer. Hey guys! Welcome back to the Arsenal News Channel. As always, we're here to bring you the latest updates to keep you informed on all things Gunners. Palmeiras are looking for a replacement for Endrick, who is ready to join Real Madrid after the Copa America. The club's president, Leila Pereira, and sporting director Anderson Barrows intend to repatriate Gabriel Jesus. However, financial obstacles could be the big problem for Verdao. According to UOL Esport, Palmeiras' management sees the return of the 27-year-old striker as an almost impossible dream at the moment. Jesus' current salary at Arsenal is far more than the club can afford, equivalent to the combined earnings of eight of its highest-paid players. Striker Gabriel Jesus receives an annual salary of almost £13.8 million, as reported by Gcopology, a platform specialising in football financing. To give you an idea, his salary could cover the salary of eight players who earn 1 million Brazilian reals each per month at Palmeiras. To return to Palmeiras, Jesus would need to reduce his salary by almost 70%, a prospect considered highly unlikely. Even with the 50% reduction, he would still earn twice the club's highest salary, currently occupied by Dudu. On vacation in Brazil, Gabriel Jesus visited the Palmeiras Health and Performance Center and autographed his own image printed on the wall there. Reflecting on his time at Palmeiras, he revealed, I was practically raised within academia too, and from here, I started to make my dreams come true. Arsenal have hit the ground running in this summer's transfer window with a potential addition to join manager Mikel Arteta's squad. According to reports, the Gunners are about to sign 23-year-old goalkeeper Joan Garcia. His performances in Spain's Segunda Division played a key role in his team's promotion, appearing in 21 crucial matches. He conceded just 10 goals and kept an impressive 12 clean sheets. As a result of his performances, he earned a place on Spain's Olympic squad for the 2024 Paris Games. Garcia's standout season at Espanyol caught the attention of clubs across Europe, including elite teams. Despite interest from Real Madrid, who are uncertain about Andre Lunin's future, Garcia has emerged as Arsenal's top target. According to reports from the Daily Mirror, the 23-year-old Spanish goalkeeper is set to make his Premier League debut, which could mean the end of Ramsdale's tenure with the Gunners. For a club struggling with goalkeeping issues, signing Garcia represents a significant coup. Currently, Aaron Ramsdale faces challenges, highlighting the urgent need for a reliable goalkeeper. Garcia, admired by Arteta, could be the perfect choice to reinforce the squad, potentially signalling a new era in Arsenal's goalkeeping. The young goalkeeper is seen as a promising competitor to David Raya, and negotiations could be at an advanced stage to finalise the deal before the start of the new season. The Gunners have been linked with a number of potential signings since the turn of 2024, and a new name is once again emerging on the North London radar. Arsenal are preparing to face two London rivals in their search for a Leeds United player this summer. Leeds United midfielder Archie Gray could be on the move this summer with interest rising across the Premier League. However, Arsenal face stiff competition and will need to overcome Tottenham and Chelsea in the race for his signature. At just 18, Archie Gray is considered one of the country's most exciting young talents, arguably England's brightest prospect since Declan Rice. Despite interest from clubs last year, Leeds United have managed to keep him until now. Tottenham have long been linked with Gray, while Liverpool have also shown significant interest in securing his services. According to the Daily Mail, the latest reports indicate that Arsenal and their London rivals are ready to fight for Gray this summer. All three clubs in the capital are preparing to make a move for the teenager, but it won't be simple. Leeds are keen to keep Gray but could consider letting him go if his £30 million valuation is met. Gray, who made 52 appearances in all competitions for Leeds in the 2023-24 season, still has four years remaining on his contract at Elland Road. The versatile Englishman has been praised for his standout performances, capable of playing in central midfield positions and even playing at right-back for Leeds last season. With Leeds needing to balance their books this summer, Gray represents a player of immense potential. 
Arteta's interest in Gray's abilities is being noted, potentially explaining speculation about a possible move this summer. According to the latest reports, PSG midfielder Manuel Ugarte has suddenly become the focus of major Premier League transfer speculation. Ugarte, one of Uruguay's brightest talents, enjoyed an impressive campaign while playing for Sporting CP, attracting interest from Arsenal and other top clubs, before opting for PSG. Despite a promising debut season in League One, Ugarte faced stiff competition for playing time, sparking rumours of a possible loan move this summer. However, PSG prefers to sell him and has actively offered him to other clubs. According to The Sun, Arsenal and a number of Premier League clubs have been approached about Ugarte's availability. The dynamic midfielder is known for his physical strength in midfield and his ability to quickly transition play from one zone to another. According to the report, PSG is open to negotiations and intends to recover part of the 60 million invested in Ugarte, who has a contract until 2028. The report also suggests that Manchester United are now intensifying the race for his signature, seeking a long-term replacement for veteran midfielder Casemiro. One of the key positions Arsenal need to strengthen this summer is finding a reliable player on the wings. This is crucial due to the heavy reliance on the English star, who is overwhelmed without significant backup options. When Bukayo Saka was unavailable, Arsenal improvised with Gabriel Jesus in the 1-0 win over Manchester City and Gabriel Martinelli in the last match against Everton. Finding a suitable option this summer is a challenge, evidenced by the interest in several potential targets, including Johan Bakayoko. Another potential transfer target could be West Ham United's Mohamed Kudus, although he has not yet been widely mentioned. Arsenal showed an interest in Kudus last summer before he moved to East London from Arjux. However, the Gunners did not have the financial freedom to compete for his signature after spending over £200 million on Jurian Timber, Declan Rice and Kai Havertz, along with the loan signing of David Raya. The £38 million deal for Kudus turned out to be one of the bargains of the summer. The Ghanaian international contributed 14 goals and 6 assists in his debut season for the Hammers. This included a goal against Arsenal as West Ham knocked them out of the Carabao Cup in the fourth round. David Ornstein recently revealed on the Athletic FC podcast that Kudus has a release clause in his contract. Another report from the player's homeland suggested that figure is around £85 million. As Arsenal continues to look for important reinforcements, it remains to be seen whether they will rekindle interest in the player in this transfer window. So Arsenal fans, what do you think of the latest news? Leave your opinion in the comments, we want to know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like so you don't miss any news from our beloved Arsenal. To the next!